What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, which is one of the reasons why we're doing it with a different background. Today we're going to be doing an Egg Fast collaboration series. And by series, I mean we're going to be doing it for three days and then later on in the week we're going to be posting a results video talking about the weight we lost, how we felt on it, and just our overall general thoughts. Now we're going to be doing this with six other channels and I will link those um, channels down in the description below but I'll tell you right now what they are because they're really cool channels and you definitely want to go check them out. And those channels are Keto Twisted Gypsy who organized this, Keto Kitchen by Lisa, Tennessee Keto Mama, Tiho Creates, The Autumn Heather, and Tina Tries Things. So you definitely want to go check those channels out. Again, those links will be in the description below. So go ahead and head on over there after you check this video out and see how they're doing their egg fast and support them. Now let's get into how I'm doing mine. Now I know that there are certain set rules for most egg fasts, but these are going to be mine. Now first of all, we're going to drink at least 60 ounces of water each day. Then I'm gonna keep my calories around 2,250. That's just my personal preference. I have done some egg fasts in the past where I did keep my calories low, but they weren't very enjoyable for me. And I also want to experiment to see how my body will react to a higher calorie count. And I'm gonna be eating one tablespoon of healthy fat per egg, which is pretty standard. I will be limiting myself to six ounces of hard cheese, but I'm gonna be aiming for four. And I'm only gonna be using natural sweeteners like stevia, and I'm gonna be avoiding the fake sweeteners. There will be no restrictions on spices or seasonings, provided there are no sugar in them. Now I do need my caffeine, so I will be limiting myself to two diet drinks or one bang. So we're letting this slide. Now I know most egg fasts call for eating eggs every three hours, but I will be continuing to follow my 16-8 intermittent fasting window. And I will be drinking one cup of coffee with healthy fats and stevia only, no heavy whipping cream. And I will be drinking my electrolyte and apple cider vinegar drink that I make twice a day, which I will make for you in a future video. And now we have the list of foods that I plan on eating. I will make adjustments as needed. Currently on the menu will be scrambled eggs, fried, hard-boiled, and in casserole form. And I'm likely to add at least one chaffle. Now for healthy fats, I plan on using MCT oil, coconut oil, butter, mayo, and I may also use olive oil. Now the only cheese that I plan on using is cheddar right from the block. Cheddar is my favorite, so I'm just going to stick with that. For my coffee, I will be using some combination of MCT, coconut oil, butter, and stevia. And lastly is my electrolyte drink, which consists of sea salt, potassium, apple cider vinegar, stevia, and lemon juice. And lastly, before we get into the recipe, here's my expected calories and macros. As you can see here, it's 80% fat, 18% protein, and 2% carbs, which are good for any egg fast or any ketogenic diet. Now for the recipe, we're going to start by preheating our oven to 350 degrees. Now into a bowl, we're going to add 18 large eggs. And now it's time to season. I just grab a large pinch of sea salt, black pepper, garlic powder, paprika, and a teaspoon of turmeric. Now, garlic and turmeric are both known for their anti-inflammatory properties as well as many other health benefits. That's why I'm making sure to add both of them. And once you've beaten your eggs so they're nice and fluffy, go ahead and spray your pan with a non-stick spray. And then to that, add one and a half sticks of butter. That's right, I'm adding 12 tablespoons of butter to this. Now go ahead and pour your beaten eggs into the butter. And then with your whisk, just go ahead and just combine both the butter and the eggs. 
And to that, I'm gonna add six ounces of shredded cheese. Then with your rubber spatula, just make sure that you distribute the cheese evenly throughout your casserole. Now place your casserole in your preheated 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes. Once that's done, take your rubber spatula and make sure you scrape the sides and the bottom. That way you get a nice airy casserole instead of something that resembles a kitchen sponge. Then go ahead and place your casserole back in the oven for another 10 minutes Then take it back out and again move the eggs around so that way you get like a scrambled egg casserole which is basically what this is and then with your rubber spatula just go ahead and smooth it back over so that way it finishes cooking evenly now once you've smoothed it back out so that it cooks evenly and placed it back in the oven for a final five minutes. It will be done, and this is what the results will be. Now what I'm doing for my three-day fast is I'll just cut it into three pieces so that way it's already portioned, I can just grab and go. Now as you can see, I did my egg fast a little bit differently. Like I said, most traditional egg fasts are 1,500 calories, about six to eight eggs, and I'm doing 2,250 for mine as well as 10 eggs. Now the reason I'm doing this is because like I said, I have done it at the 1500 calories and I always felt hungry and I didn't, uh, I didn't enjoy doing the egg fast. It left me kind of miserable. So I'm doing it at a higher calorie so that way I can see if it's more enjoyable and see if I can lose weight doing it at the higher calorie. So it's a little bit of an experiment for me. Now, what I did eat today was I had an omelet this morning with a tablespoon of butter. I had four eggs and three ounces of cheese. I'm sorry, two ounces of cheese. And then in my coffee, I had two tablespoons of butter and a tablespoon of coconut oil and stevia. So that was my breakfast. And then that casserole that you saw that I made, that's what I had for dinner. Now I have a little more time in the morning to make my meal. So that that's why, you know, I did the casserole for my dinners because I have less time. So at dinner, I can just grab, you know, grab a portion of that casserole, heat it up and I'm good to go. So that's what I did for that. Now I'm gonna be posting daily as far as how I feel. So tomorrow I'll let you know, um, you know, if I got hungry, um, if I had more energy, all that. But as of right now, you know, just finishing up the, you know, um, my dinner and everything, I feel good. Um, I don't feel stuffed or anything like that. So we'll find out in the morning just how, how it affected me as far as, you know, long-term hunger and that sort of thing. So I'll give you my thoughts on, on all that and I will let you know uh, what the day, what tomorrow brings, because tomorrow is gonna be day two. So just stay tuned for that, come back, make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell notification so that way you know when I do post those videos and make sure you check out all those other channels that I put in the description. Okay, so until then, thank you for stopping by, stay awesome, and I'll see you soon.